rather interesting airport, open air, Palm Springs Airport, because it doesn't rain very much out here. You don't need a roof at your airport. You immediately walk out and it's warm, bright and sunny. Pretty darn fascinating, if I must say so. It's a beautiful morning here at Chuckwalla Valley Raceway, and we are just moments away from beginning our three-day track session, lesson, seminars with my good buddy Adam Wahid. And we're gonna be riding this amazing R1 and the R6 here as Adam coaches and trains me on how to become a better track rider. If you guys didn't know, Chuck Walla Valley Raceway is in Southern California, about three hours south via car from Los Angeles. So the Yamaha guys have a setup really nice here. We've got some ample shade provided because it's already super hot here this morning, already in the 90 degrees. But one thing you want to do before you put your tracksuit on is put on a base layer. So I'm wearing a Moto D base layer. And basically what this will do, it'll help keep me dry and help keep me cooler when I've got my tracksuit on. So I would definitely recommend using a base layer. I couldn't, agree. I couldn't agree more with with Eve here. You know, base layers they help so much in not only getting, keeping you comfortable and cool on the track, but it also helps you take your put your suit on and get it off, especially when you're hot and sweaty. You know, if you're just wearing your suit under bare skin, they're just it's a you're gonna have a heck of a time pulling it off your body after you're done riding. What are we getting into now, Adam? We're about to shoot some uh, clay pigeons with this old Remington 12 gauge shotgun. Okay. So we're gonna bust off some of those and see what kind of fun we can have. Thank you. My good buddy Slim Thug does this all the time. Slim Thug definitely does this. Ready to go? Right. So I'll go on toss me one. You can shoot first. Pull! Oh! First shot, first kill. Nice! nice throw too, Clay pigeons are better than shooting real live pigeons. So I'll do these three and then you can do them. We wouldn't do that. Whoa! Second kill. Oh. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That thing does have a kick to it. It does, doesn't it? Pull! Did you let it hit you in the shoulder? Goodness, yeah. <laughs> So we are just moments away from hitting the track and Adam has to get his awesome trailer all cleaned up and set up. This is a beautiful trailer you got, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know, it looks like a mess, but it's really not. Three men were in this trailer last night, so uh, this is how it looks. But you can see out this beautiful window there. That's the track. There are no groups here. It's an open track day, so novice, intermediate, and the advanced group will be riding together. Be fitting because Adam is an advanced rider and I'm somewhat of a novice rider. We're going to be together. Blazing hot out here. This track day is only going to go on <laughs> until... Hey guys, I'm back. You're back! I had to reset my headset. It, the earbuds were not in the right spot. Okay. We can okay. hear you loud and clear now. Awesome. A special shout out to Yamaha for what they've done. Look at this amazing spread they have for us. Yamaha R6, which is, I'm going to, which is what I'm going to be riding. Yamaha R1 that Adam's going to be riding here. No, we're both on R6s, Eve. Oh, get out of here. Okay, sweet. Yeah. I didn't know that. This is my race bike, <laughs> okay. and this is your race bike. Nice. 
So awesome. We got a lap timer on there. Everything's good. Sweet. But yeah, special shout out to Yamaha for allowing us to come out here and ride these bikes. You know, we're here at Chuck Walla Valley Raceway in uh, Southern California, and uh, this circuit and this bike go together like a like your wife's peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, they nice. Are, they are very good. So I just got off the R6, did a session by myself. Adam was out making a launch video, launch control video on the R1. But I think I just graduated myself up to the uh, being able to use the R1. I'm able to drag the left knee. I know that doesn't mean very much uh, in the grand scheme of things, but it does feel great to actually drag a knee. So now I'm gonna put the R6 down for a little minute. And then Adam's gonna ride this R1. And I will be on this one. And we're going to get the settings set up for uh, my liking. And one of the coolest things about these Yamaha YZF R1s is the amount of adjustability they have you know, from the electronics, from the throttle, power modes, the traction control, slide control, lift control, launch control. There's a lot of different electronic options that help you tailor the way the motorcycle rides. So let's go in that menu and uh, set this bike up for you. Thank you, man. So we're going to hold down this toggle here, get into the menu. Now we're in the menu, let's go into the YRC setting. That's, that is the menu functionality that's going to allow us to tailor all of the individual settings. Now there's a lot going on here, but uh, we're, going to, we're going to start here and sort it out for you guys. So YRC is for global settings. So when you, when you make an adjustment here, it's going to have a corresponding adjustment of all these other settings. So think of it as a high level global setting. You know, if you don't really know what you want, you, you can just pick one of these and, and uh, just have a global general setting. But we want to custom tailor things to you. So let's start with uh, this B mode. Let's go in here. So power, what do you like, Eve? Do you like one? Do you like two? Do you like three? Do you like four? I like a lot of power, Adam. Okay. I like a lot of power, too. But in my experience, you know, power mode one, it makes the throttle a little bit too snappy. And when the throttle is real snappy like that, it can make the bike a little bit more difficult to ride, especially when you're going from off throttle to on throttle. Yes. So I think two would be a good setting for you. Perfect. Great. TCS, traction control. Now, this setting, you know, there's a lot of misnomers with traction control. Traction control, all it really is trying to do is trying to, to, to mitigate wheel spin. So a little bit of wheel spin's good, but uh, too much is not good. So. What I always tell people is when you're starting on a new motorcycle that has traction control and you don't have a lot of time on it, I really encourage people to start with a really high traction control setting. Now when you have that really high traction control setting, it's going to allow you to feel the electronics. You're going to be able to lean on them and yeah, in the beginning they're probably going to hold you back a little bit, 
but that's fine because you're going to be able to feel what it's like when that happens yeah. and it's going to give you uh, an easier and more safe experience when you're learning to ride your new uh, high performance motorcycle like this. Okay. So, you know, I would really recommend Eve, that we start with, with TCS setting 6 Let's do it. And, and go from there, you know. Okay. And then if it's holding you back too much, we can go down and go down and go down and go down. Got it. You know, it is important to know we're on really high quality sticky race rubber from, from Bridgestone. So theoretically, you know, when you're comfortable, we can pretty much run this TC, TCS setting all the way to 1, gotcha. you know, because the tires have that much grip. But we're going to start at 6. Slide control. Slide control is a little bit like trash control. They kind of work, not kind of, they do work off one another. So slide control is basically Yamaha's take at trying to mitigate power slides in, in when you're coming out of a turn. So these high horsepower bikes like the YZF-R1, they have so much power these days that they can literally drift off turns. And when I say drift, I mean they can they can have so much power that the rear tire starts spinning and will be actually moving in a, in a different direction than the front tire, oh, wow. like literally power sliding. And SCS helps you control that. Uh, again, I would start with the with the maximum setting here, okay. and let's just feel it out, see how it feels, and we can go from there. Okay. Again, if you're a more experienced rider or on race tires, you know SCS one is probably what you're going to want. But for now, we're going to start on three. Uh, launch control. This is. This setting is used to help put the power down when you're launching the motorcycle, whether you're racing or you're doing a drag race uh, at a at a drag racing course, sure. not on the street, because that okay. would be illegal. Yes, of course. But since we're here at the racetrack, we're not racing, we're just riding, we're not even going to use launch control. Okay. Quick shift, QS. Yes. Uh, now for 2018, Yamaha's added that auto blip downshifter on this YZF-R1. Yes. So you have two settings here. Setting two is a little bit slower shifts. Setting one's a little bit faster. I like fast. We want fast. So okay. really, there's no reason why you'd ever want two, in my opinion. So just leave it on one. You're going to have the quickest shifts. Remember, it's got auto blip now, so you don't need to use the clutch lever when you downshift. That is you awesome. just push on that shift lever, and it goes down into the next gear. I love it. And... Uh, Quick shifter is on. Now lift control. Lift control is a funny one. So LIF. LIF is, is Yamaha's nomenclature for wheelie control. Lift control is wheelie control. Same thing. Um, lift control is very... When Yamaha came out with the system in 2015, it was very, very well dialed. They've made a small improvement to the ECU programming on this. So if you, if you are a more aggressive rider or a faster rider, even in the lowest one setting, up until this 2018 model, it pulled back the power a little bit much. So a lot of racers would just run lift control off because it, it pulled back power too much when they were accelerating on the tire. Yeah. So Yamaha's fixed that. Uh, honestly, I would leave lift control in one. Okay. And, and, and we here at Chuck Wallow, there's not a lot of power wheelie areas. You're not going to be doing a lot of wheeling yeah. just due to the to the nature of the course, how it's fast and flowing. Sure. So, but if you wanted. If you're riding at a track that has a lot of bumps and or a lot of hills and a lot of declines and inclines, a lower lift control setting probably would be pretty good, especially if you're new to the bike and you want to get a feel for electronics and feel how the motorcycle does when it applies those interventions. Okay. But for here, we're going to use setting one. Okay. Well, Eve, you're all dialed in, man. Thank you, man. So how do you save all that? It's already saved. All you have to do is hit this menu button and it'll bring us back to the menu. Gotcha. So let's do one more change here too. Let's make sure we're on the right display mode. These Yamaha R1s are so cool. You have two choices, track and street mode. So street mode will give you a street conventional uh, dash display. And track mode will give you a track mode where all the stuff that you want to see will be right there. Like lap times and gear position yeah. and everything's really easy. So we're going to leave it like that. Nice. Thanks, Adam. We ready to ride? Ready to ride. Let's do it. This is going to be my last session for the day. It is blistering hot out here. 105. Oh, 105, yeah. Adam's done such a great job training me today. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming out, Eve. I'm sorry that the weather was a little bit hotter than <laughs> we anticipated. Whew. That's all right. Yeah, you never know this time of year. Like, it can be hot. It can be... It's not going to be cold. Yeah. But... We are in the desert, for Pete's sake, huh? Yeah, I remember many years ago we did a test here right around this time maybe about a week a week later so you know a couple years ago a week later and it was 115 degrees that day wow and we were doing a shootout so we had to ride 
all day. I got heat exhaustion that day, actually. Oh, man. And then once you get heat exhaustion, your body's always more susceptible to that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Ready to go? Ready to roll. Well, yeah, I really like what you've been working on, Eve. You've really worked on your lines and all that feedback I gave you about slowing down a little bit before you make that corner you did and hitting the cones, hitting the slowest part of the track uh, or the slowest part of the corner. You did all that. It's so a good job. You know it's hot when you get moving like this and it actually feels good. Yes, it does. I know you like that low line. And that throttle. You love that thing. No, I'm teasing. We want to hang a little bit wider next time. Okay. And you can put your knee right on that curbing. It's totally fine. I love the way that bike sounds, I really do. Doesn't it sound badass? Ah, uh, yes it is. It's like an inferno. It's like one in a pizza oven. Oh. Your favorite corner of the fish pool. <laughs> What's it like to ride through this thing? So hot I can't even talk. Yeah, you smacked me down. <laughs> How was it? It was most excellent, sir. Thank you so much for taking the time to show me these tips, man. This has been outstanding. Yeah, it's man. a it's been more than I can even ask for or I think that guy liked us racing. <laughs> I was wondering. I thought he was getting mad at me for something. No, no, I think he was pumped. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Nice job. Tom. Thank you so much, Adam, man. Nice job. Cool. Thank you. Thanks Good for coming enough. out and riding with us, and we'll do it again. Absolutely, man. Special shout out to my good buddy, Adam Wahid, for training me on how to become a better track rider. Special thanks to Yamaha for just being so cool. So go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe. New videos are constantly uploaded to my channel. Stay tuned for more. And as always, thanks for viewing from beautiful, sunny, hot as heck, Chuckwalla Valley Raceway in California. We'll catch you next time.